Welcome to the CCH Pro System FX Engagement 2017 What's New video series. In this video, we'll talk about new password security features available within the admin module. We'll start by going directly into the admin module and opening up Tools Firm Options. The password security feature allows administrators to now optionally define rules for staff login passwords. In the Firm Options dialog box, you will find a new option that will enable you to require staff login passwords to meet certain criteria. You will note that this feature by default is not selected. It will be up to the individual firm to decide whether or not to implement these strong password capabilities. I'm going to go ahead and say that I want to require staff login passwords to meet certain rules and you'll notice I can now go in and define those rules. I have the ability to determine how many characters let's say I want at least maybe five characters. I can decide whether I want it to have an uppercase, lowercase, maybe a digit, maybe a special character. I can also say that it cannot contain the staff member's login name. I can determine how frequently they need to change their password and also no historical reuse for the last and let's say four passwords. Once these rules are defined, when the staff person goes to log in to the engagement application, and I'm going to log in as Joe Partner, when they hit OK, they're going to automatically get the change password dialog. So in this case, my old password was blank. I'm going to go ahead and put in my new password. And you'll notice down below, it has identified the password rules. As I start to meet the requirements, so let's say I use a capital letter, you'll notice that requirement automatically becomes checked. So as I go through and I put in my password, I have met all of the rules, and I can go ahead and say OK. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now just for purposes of showing you that I have indeed changed the password, I'm going to close out very quickly and I'm just going to log in again. Now it is important to note that to be able to change the password you do have to be in the office location. Let's say I tried to log in without a password. Notice I'm going to get the error message that I have entered an invalid login name or password. And I can now go ahead, type in my password and hit OK. Now as a user, as in previous versions of the application, at any point in time I could go to Tools User Profile and go through and change my password. But by default when you implement the strong password functionality within the application, you will automatically be prompted for uh, the user to change that password. It's also important to remember that the passwords will also be used for the utilities within the application. So it will be important that when you do implement this, that you do get your staff to change their passwords. One feature we have added to the admin views utility is actually a feature for tracking whether or not the password is implemented. Now you notice as I said before that even the utilities will require use of the password so I'm going to go ahead and set one up here for my admin user. It has met all the criteria so I can go ahead and log in. But now under staff views I have a new view called staff password information. Basically this is going to allow me to see that both uh, Joe Partner and the admin user have gone ahead and changed their password and I can see that based on the password expiration that their passwords will expire in September of 2017. So as I said before this feature is one that is optional. The firm can choose whether or not they would like to implement this feature and at any time I could also go back to the firm options in the admin module and turn this feature back off as well. 
Is your firm looking for on-demand e-learning? Check out our available courses online today.